Okay, the last one on substitution method, and then we'll go on to the next method after this one. Look at this. It says the difference between two numbers. Well, what are the two numbers? Choose x and y. Who cares? So the difference is x minus y has to be 9. All right. Now, the larger, the larger. Well, wait a second. Which one's the larger, the x or the y? Well, if you think about it, the x has to be larger because if the y was larger, this number would be negative. So your x is the larger number. Okay, so with that being said, the larger is, the larger is, x is three more, three more than twice the smaller number. Twice the smaller number. Hey, look at that. Look how pretty this is. I'll even clean this up a little bit so it looks really, really pretty. Check this out. There's your system. Oh my goodness, that's not so bad. And the nice thing is, is it's beautifully set up for substitution. There's the x equals 2 already. So you're going to take this and substitute it in for x. So here we go. Let's do it. Bracket 3 plus 2y. A lot of people are probably asking, why do you put brackets around this? Well, the bracket shows that you're actually doing the substitution here. So here we go. 3 plus 2y minus y equals to 9. Combine like terms, you got 3 plus y equals to 9. Subtract the 3, subtract the 3. y looks like it's actually equal to 6. Wow, what an easy question. So I'm going to take that 6, and it doesn't matter where you pop this in. I can pop it into this question, or I can pop it into this question. You're still going to get the same answer. Check it out. I'll do that. x equals to 3 plus 2 times 6. 2 times 6 we know is 12, right? So 3 plus 12 equals to 15. There's your other number. So your one number is 6, the other number is 15. I will prove that it doesn't matter which one you substitute this into. I can substitute it into this. Look, x minus y equals to 9. I found the y to be 6, so let's plug it in there. x minus 6, there's a substitution, equals to 9. All right, so all I have to do is add 6 to both sides. Look at this, x still equals to 15. So it doesn't matter which equation you substitute it into, but you now know the two numbers. The two numbers are 6 and 15. Done. That's how you do that question.